Hey guys, how are you? I hope you're doing great. So today I'm gonna do a video of seven reasons why I don't eat chicken. I've led a vegan diet for the past uh, three and a half years, a little over that. The first three years I was raw vegan, completely raw vegan, and I did this overnight because I learned all the negative effects that animal protein has on the body. It was just a motivation and an incentive for me to stop eating animal protein forever. It just did not make sense to me. The way that chicken is produced now is not the same that it was produced 100 years ago. It's very, very different. And so today I'm gonna give you my top seven reasons why I don't eat chicken. I hope that this video just inspires you uh, to be more conscious about what you put into your body and motivates you if you want to lead a vegetarian or vegan diet to try it out. I'm not saying that you should leave it forever or that you should be vegan or you should be vegetarian. I'm just giving you this information. I'm just passing on the message. And you guys know that I always say just eat more fruits and veggies. When you do that, you automatically eat less animal protein. All right, so let's start. I wrote it down here because I don't wanna forget anything. So before I started eating vegan and I would eat meat, I always thought that eating chicken was like the healthier option and then fish was like the super healthiest option so that's uh wrong for sure number one is that chicken contains the same amount of cholesterol than red meat so four ounces which is like a size of the deck of cards contains a hundred milligrams of cholesterol which is the same as meat Number two is that it has E. coli. So 87% of chicken carcasses test positive for E. coli before they are sent to stores. E. coli is considered more dangerous than salmonella and was one of the reasons why Russia banned 19 of poultry producers in 2008. So antibiotic resistant E. coli traces were found in samples of raw unconventional chicken raised without antibiotics and kosher chicken found in New York City in April of 2013. Number three is that it contains arsenic. So normally chicken are fed arsenic to control the parasites, to make them grow faster, and that their skin, uh, their meat looks nicer once it's packaged and sent to the stores. So the New York Times published that looking at uh, feathers of factory farm chicken, researchers also have found evidence of caffeine and active ingredients in Tylenol, Benadryl, and Prozac. The caffeine is supposed to keep the chickens awake so that they eat more and they get fatter faster and they can get killed faster and we can eat them faster and they can produce more and while the Benadryl, Tylenol and Prozac are supposed to reduce the anxiety so their meat doesn't get tough. Number four, chickens are fed large amounts of antibiotics in order to basically keep them alive in conditions where they would otherwise die. These conditions are just, they're like packed into little, little tiny cages. A lot of them are packed in there. Many of them are crippled because of the large body weight that they have. And another thing is that all these antibiotics are going into our body. So we become more resistant to them. So then when we take antibiotics when we're sick, then they're not as effective on our body. Number five is that in order to eat chicken, we must cook it. So when we cook chicken and the fat in it, it creates heterocyclic amines, which are carcinogenic to the body. And number six is that the Obama administration just approved that chicken is gonna be packed in China. So chickens are gonna be raised here, killed here, and then sent to China so that they can be packaged and then brought here. Apparently that saves a lot of money. So there's nothing being said of what is gonna be put into that chicken, how are they gonna transport it, and also it's not required for the package of the chicken to say that it's coming from China. And there's no way of finding out how old is the chicken as well. And number seven is is that a recent study uh, that was done in Seattle by a microbiologist brought 100 pieces of chicken and the analysis stated that they found that 65% of these chickens had pilobacter, 19% had salmonella, and 2% had E. coli or listeria. The Department of Agriculture of the United States, they look for these bacterias. Now there are many other reasons not to eat chicken for the animals, for the environment, but knowing these facts was what initially 
motivated and inspired me to just leave chicken once and for all. And I know that it's not an easy thing to do because we're so used to eating a certain type of way. But if you can just, you know, reduce your meat and animal protein consumption, chicken consumption, and increase your amount of fruits and vegetables in your diet, you're gonna be much healthier. You're gonna feel better, you're gonna look better, and you're gonna do a favor to our planet as well and to the animals. So I just wanna leave you guys with that and I wanna say thank you so, so much for watching this video and to please share it. I'm gonna leave the links of all the research done in the description of this video so you guys can go check it out and see for yourself. I did not come up with all this information, it's all online, I am just simply passing on the message. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe here to my channel if you haven't subscribed and like this video if you liked it. And also follow me on Instagram and Snapchat and Twitter and Facebook, all at Ravana. Okay, and if you hear my voice like this, it's because I was traveling for a whole month. I am so happy to be here back home with you guys and uh, hopefully it will get better soon. All right guys, I'll leave you guys with that and I'll see you in the next video, okay? Bye.